and uh, season 26, season 3, we here with it. Um, how y'all doing? Uh, I know y'all probably like, why we in the house? Nigga, why you keep your hood up? Why you got a do-rag on? I promise you, I have nothing to hide. My hairline is intact. I promise, like, the waves, they cool. I'm just, we chilling, we, we cool, we chilling. Like, you know, this ain't no, like, formal event. You ain't gotta get dressed up. We just here to chat, have, we, we catching up. We still getting to know each other right now. We gonna be in the streets, we gonna be doing all that soon, but right now, these first couple, like, first few, or some videos, I'm probably like do one more sit down video where I'm in the crib, then I'ma really take y'all with me. Um, but yeah, these first videos, like really just to get caught up in a way, reintroduce myself to, you know, y'all. And y'all, you know, really get an insight a little bit. I know I don't be really going too much depth. I don't know why. I'm not gonna say I don't know why, cause I don't know why. I don't really care for too many people in my business, for real, for real. But I try to, I try to let y'all in on things that like other people may not know, or just, you know, you probably wondering about. But definitely if y'all have questions, please feel free to ask them. I before, before you get any further in this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Feel free to even leave a comment. But go ahead and do that. Click that notification bell too. All right, we gonna, I'm gonna give y'all like three, four, five seconds. All right. You done? All right, all right, all right. Hey, I just, I just wanted to make sure you were engaged. But all right, back to the video. All right, so um, y'all probably like back up, nigga. Damn. <laughs> but um, nah, so. This one, we really just gonna get into, like, the truth, I guess. You know, realistic shit, like, life after college, life since COVID. Uh, we really just, you know, finna talk about some things, because we ain't really going into too much debt, like, during quarantine. Then nobody want to hear about that shit. We technically still kind of dealing with COVID. Like, you know, keep that mask on and stay six feet away from me. Not playing. Don't sneeze. Do not sneeze or cough around me. I am that person that will ask you if you sick. I don't play them kind of games. <laughs> Too important out here. But nah, um, just real shit. Um, we can start with life after college because for me, COVID happened literally like the year after I graduated college. So uh, life after college, college was fun. I enjoyed my like college career. I only spent like two years though in college. Like I took a year and a half off and um, like, we gonna get into the real shit about college on another day. Right now, I ain't even ready to really go into depth about college for real, for real. But um, after college, though, I would say, like, just, I was, senior year woke up a lot of things for me that I did not know. Mind you, I only spent my freshman year in college and my senior year in college because I came in with credits as a junior. So, yeah, like, I really only spent two years in college. Um, senior year, I learned a lot within that last year that I was like, dang, I feel like I'm behind or dang, like I gotta get some, but at the same time, like college was so, was helpful for me because it taught me the importance of networking. It helped me further myself in ways just by talking to people and not be afraid to ask what I want, speak up for certain things. And I feel like adjust to certain crowds environments and stuff like that better than i was taught like you know in everyday life so that's one thing and adjust to different people different walks of life people from all over the place yeah like it really taught me how to interact and really like network so that's one thing i'm very very appreciative of college so after college uh it was you know looking for the looking for a job and stuff like that when you leave college and you don't secure a job is it's tough because you go back to like you know the same old part times or just quick little easy job you can get into while you're waiting on that like full-time job some people continue school i was honestly done with school like i felt like i spent uh since i didn't go to preschool uh i want to say i went from daycare straight to kindergarten um now i want to i do know i went from day, daycare straight to kindergarten um so i spent like I tell people I did like a 16 year bid <laughs> because I know people like, you wasn't in jail. Nah, like it, it felt like that because school really, it controlled too much of my time. And then as a kid, you know, you can't really make decisions and stuff like that on your own. So I just felt like I, 
I didn't want to be there eight hours. Like, we could have done school, like, three hours, like, a day. Hold on. It's my, oh, happy birthday to my nephew. He calling me right now, so I'm, I'm going to call y'all back. I'm going to call y'all right back. Stay by the phone. I'm going to call y'all right back. All right. Gecko. You said me, Mondo? Mm-hmm. You heard it, Mondo. Oh, dang. He hard. Yeah? I told y'all I was gonna call y'all back. Hey, I keep my word. But, <laughs> I really don't even remember where I was at, but, you know, we're gonna do what we gotta do. But yeah, um, after college, uh, you know, looking for the hub. Looking, looking for the hub. Yeah, yeah. Looking for a job, shit like that. The thing is, I knew, like, I didn't wanna, like, really... I didn't really want to go into like the workforce for for like as far as I like, find a nine to five. Like I really wanted to solely focus on things I was interested in that I couldn't really pursue while I was in school. Like or I could pursue it, but not full fledged because you know you got school and and then again it was just me. Like my parents wasn't funding anything. Like I I was the one that like I had the interest. I had to fund it. I had to figure out like how to go about it. Like I'm still figuring it out. I'm like. Just a little, you know, more insight on me. Like, I'm a first gen. Like, as far as my father and my mother, I'm the first one to go to university, graduate. Like, I'm the first one to have two degrees and all that other stuff. Um, the first one to actually be into entertainment and stuff like that. Hold on. I I'm going to call y'all right back. Some KB calling me. <laughs> hey, so I know I'm in a new location. Y'all probably like, nigga, what? But... Call y'all back. You know how you get on the phone, you start walking around the house doing random stuff. That was me. But um, yeah, let's get back to it though. Uh, I had got you know I told y'all about the job I had and stuff like that that helped me move down here. So I got that job like at the end of the year that I graduated. So I was decent, but it still like wasn't a job within my career field. It was just something for me to do. It paid well, and it was something like in the field close to. It was like a platform like it was a way for me to be able to reach out and touch people in industries that i really wanted to break into or really like you know want to dive deeper into basically entertainment and the people with money and that was doing the investments and stuff like that so took it definitely went with it um the crazy thing is like i thought i was gonna go to the military I was like in just such a headspace where I just wanted to hurry up and get up out of my hometown like hurry up and figure out like you know what I want to do in my life like so I was doing that in the midst of also figuring out if I truly wanted to go after like my dreams and stuff like that so just real quick with that I can dive deeper into that in the um in another video if you want definitely comment and let me know but um yeah so long story short God ended up ended up telling me like you know that wasn't the route for me um and just really went full fledged with modeling. So still working in the private jet company. But you know, COVID hit March twenty twenty. So well, that was when I got furloughed. COVID hit literally in twenty twenty. But um it's crazy because I thought I thought I had it like Christmas Day twenty nineteen because I I was going through it. But anyway, yeah, so COVID hit, I got furloughed, like, but I was cool. I was cool. I'm like, shit, y'all about to bring me back. I really didn't want to work during all this stuff going on. Anyway, I really wanted to chill at the crib. I really wanted to figure out what I want to do. Like, I just really wanted to have a, and be outside, because my friends was outside. We was having a ball. I don't know about y'all, but we was outside. I know, I know, I know. Again, CDC re uh, regulations and everything. Hey, but thank God I'm still here. Rest in peace to those that aren't. Nothing against them. But hey, I had, I had a ball. But, um... Yeah, so I feel like everything was cool. I actually enjoyed that things were slowed down, you know, during COVID. And I was able to actually kind of get a handle on my life and, like, and figure things out. And I was able to really venture out and do the things that I truly, like, was interested in. And I was like, okay, that's truly what I want to do for my life. But, and that's what made me make, made the decision, the executive decision, to go ahead and just, like, move to Atlanta in 2021. So, because we're going to fast forward to that. So, moving to Atlanta, though, like, you know, I, as I already told y'all, like, brief little just summary of just my experience here. Um, 
it it's been good um but it has been hard like just trying to figure out everything like i said like being a first generation like figuring it out and like i'm not moving down here with my family that i'm used to you know that i grew up with my sisters and stuff like that like i'm out here really figuring it out i'm the first person in my family to go this route to do all of this that i know of like as far as i know nobody else has nobody has experience nobody has knowledge on that i've always been the first in entertainment period like i was a baby in baby pageants as i told i believe i told y'all before but um if not i've told some of y'all but yeah and everything that led after that like first one and only so just trying to figure out which route to take and of course messing up along the way of course making mistakes of course but i don't even call it mistakes learning lessons and just figuring out which route is the best one to take it's been a lot but you know life has had life is a roller coaster life has had a lot of ups and downs and i try to focus on my ups more than i focus on my downs but i learn a lot from my downs like i try not to let them downs get me too down or those hardships really like be too hard because i don't expect life to be peaches and cream you know 112 i don't expect it to be skipping in the sunset through a garden or you know field of roses or sunflowers whatever like i don't I don't see life as that. I see life as like, in order for me to get certain things, I'm gonna have to do things I've never done before, especially if it's things I've never had before. Like I'm having to go through things that are new for me. And I try not to look at things as hard. I just try to be like, okay, I know I gotta, I just know I gotta go through it. Like I try to just tell myself things are easy because it's gonna become easy. Like, and speaking positivity over it. So I don't try to let certain things keep me down. Like you can't afford you can't, yeah, you can't afford to, like, let anything cost you your peace. You really can't. So, of course, not where I want to be as far as, like, you know, end goal. But I am exactly where I need to be as far as, I like, work-wise. Because just over the two years, like, the past five years, honestly. We can go back five years because it's been five years since I graduated college. Well, about to be in May. But um, the past five years, I feel like I've learned a lot and I've done more than I did like, you know, during those years in college and before then and everything. So just constantly learning and eager to learn more, always willing to make adjustments, try my best to not make any excuses and really just, you know, chin up, chest up as I already already did. But truth is though, like life after college is not easy. Life after COVID is not easy. Like everything that's been taking place since COVID, like life is just hasn't been easy and it's okay like a lot of people are going through the same thing people are just prioritizing their peace their happiness their joy more than they're prioritizing trying to live the american dream or trying to have everything figured out like they're okay with making mistakes or just learning things and just not really paying attention to certain things and that's just what life you know that's life however you live your life is how you live your life so just don't be discouraged though don't get down on yourself like i'm only 26 i turned 27 in july lord willing you know but i'm not expecting i'm not expecting myself to have everything figured out and anybody else expecting me to have shit figured out you a damn fool because hell no <laughs> hell no like i'm i'm learning like there's a lot of things like my parents didn't know for them to teach me that i'm learning there's a lot of things that i did not know that my parents may have known like in in general like you learn things at different stages and ages and phases in your life so you can constantly try to just figure it out and just make sure you apply whatever you learn to your future events so that you know you don't repeat the same mistake but that's just really what life is life is about trial and error figuring it out don't take yourself don't take life too seriously like that's why i find unfortunately i find everything funny because i don't life mm -mm. life is not meant to be this hard life is not meant to be this serious life is not meant to be this depressing if you sit and you focus on it and focus on what you don't have focus on things you're working on and trying to get there focus on what you like are lacking or whatever instead of just really appreciating where you are where you're going and how you've just been progressing and just giving yourself grace and just focusing on the little things like you gonna constantly live in depression and just sadness don't do that to yourself find something to brighten your spirits find something that makes you happy find something that makes you laugh find something that you enjoy doing no matter what it is prioritize that put yourself in a better mindset i mean hey have a ball out here <laughs> i'm about to have a ball 
I'm talking about about to. I've been having a ball. All right, yeah, I have a good time. If you know me, you know we have a ball. Like the summer, it goes crazy. So that's why I just I'm excited to bring y'all with me. But yeah, just wanted to speak some truth to y'all, speak some light into other people. Really, just you know, let y'all really kind of level with y'all. Let y'all know like whatever it may look like. Everybody don't have that like going on. Like I know social media probably be like very conniving or got you thinking like a lot of people doing this they moving because my moved to atlanta like they made it blah, blah blah like people figuring out their life like your life is different from somebody else's life like there's a lot of things you don't see behind the scenes of somebody else's life and there's a lot of things they don't see about your life behind the scenes like just have a ball like have a great time don't take life so serious like you figuring it out that's all you can do all right all right, don't forget to smile, all right? Um, I can't wait to show y'all all the moves for All Star. I can't wait to take y'all on this journey with me. Uh, we probably got like one more sit down where we really gonna uh, talk about something. Um, yeah, cause great news, I told y'all I was gonna be on TV. I believe the airing date is February 2nd. So get some clips from that, really talk to y'all about, you know, life on set, that should be next and stuff. So. Yeah, again, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom or wherever it may be. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Go ahead and run this, run this video up too, though. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to call y'all back. I'm going to call y'all back, all right? Damn.